guys, Michael, armchairbuilder.com here. Hey, listen, I wanted to share with you our latest project. My wife was watching this new show, American Dream Builders, the other day, and apparently she has a thing for builders. Um, anyway, the show is really more about designing than building, but she stuck with it anyway, and uh, I'm glad she did because she saw this really cool project here by a designer named Dan Foley, and it's basically grass cloth that's cut into squares and really creates a really neat, unique look on the wall and relatively easy to do. So we tackled the project. Um, I'm no wallpaper expert, so we made a lot of mistakes and uh, learned a lot of things from it. So what I would like to do is hopefully share some of that with you so your project will go more smoothly if you decide to tackle it. So let's take a look. So the actual material we're using here is a handcrafted grass cloth made by Aztec, and the color is arrowroot taupe. And it comes in double rolls measuring 24 feet long and 36 inches wide. So we cut the pieces into 36 inch squares. Now before we start hanging any grass cloth, we want to prime the wall per the manufacturer's directions. And in this case, we used Romans Pro 909. And you should tint it the same color as the paper to blend in with any seams that aren't perfect. Okay guys, so the number one thing to remember when you're doing any kind of work in your home is that the walls, ceilings, and corners are not going to be straight and level. Unfortunately, things are going to be off a little bit because of drywall mud or for whatever reason it might be a little bit of twisted lumber. So what we're going to do is for this project is make sure that we start a level line, a level and a, and a plumb line where we're going to start from so that everything stays level and plumb. So let me show you how we're going to do that. All right guys, so we're going to use this laser level to create our starting line about midway up on the wall. Now we're, we're using our layout that we created with the grids to show exactly where about where we want to start. Now we're creating that straight line to show us where to work down from and up from. Now we're also looking at this wall as a whole to see where we can hopefully create as many full pieces or full squares of the material so we have little waste and hopefully less cuts and fewer cuts. So guys, before you start cutting the, the material into squares, you want to make sure that the width of your rolls so in our case, we've got two rolls to fill this whole wall up. We wanna make sure that they're exactly the same width. Obviously you're working with squares here. So if there's any differences in the lengths or the widths of those squares, if they're not exactly square, it's not gonna lay out right. And you're gonna have a mess on your hands when you start trying to fit the pieces together. All right guys, so we've got our first strip up on the wall and we're using a foam roller to make sure that we get all the bubbles, air bubbles out of there and get it on the wall tightly, nice. Some of the other tools that you use for wallpapering really aren't good for grass cloth because it's gonna tear the, the actual top of the material. And you can see this piece was absolutely critical that we get it tight to the laser level line at the top and then to our vertical uh, uh, lines that we created with our, our level to make sure it's plumb. So everything after this will we'll go off of this one piece. We wanted to make sure we got this one right. We're using Roman's clear strippable wallpaper adhesive to help hide the paste if it gets on something that's not supposed to be on. So now we're going to work our way out from this first piece, rotating each new piece 90 degrees and alternating rolls to cover for any color differences in the manufacturing. So here are some additional tips to make sure your project moves along smoothly. Create a layout to maximize the number of full squares on the wall. This will save material and your end product will look better. Test each piece on the wall before pasting to make sure it fits and know that the pieces will stretch if you need to when they get wet from the paste. You also want to make sure each piece is perfectly square or your life will be much more difficult as the project progresses. So let me tell you guys, we really like the end results here. This grass cloth pattern adds texture and warmth to an otherwise dull room. So for a few hundred bucks and some time, you really can change the look of your space. So that's about it for today, guys. Feel free to subscribe to our channel here at uh, YouTube or stop by and see us at armchairbuilder.com. We've got some great resources that are very specific um, from years of building experience that'll help you save money and time on remodeling or building a house from the ground up. And, you know, if you've ever thought about taking that project on as a general contractor, as an owner builder, we can help you do that. Take care.